If you've ever had an artery scan done to find out if you have plaque deposits in your arteries, then it would be especially useful to know how much lower your heart disease risk is if you reverse whatever plaque exists. I mean, we've discussed a number of times how reversing plaque buildup in our arteries can occur. So why not translate that to actual reduced heart attack risk? Fortunately, this study does just that by looking at 23 studies, some randomized control trials and some not. And the researchers took data from all these studies to relate the amount of plaque in the arteries with actual cardiovascular events or MACE, a composite of multiple cardiovascular events, and then predicted the amount of cardiovascular event risk reduction based on a 1% reduction in plaque. Now, although it is true that plaque buildup is a major contributor to heart disease risk, there are some nuances to even that. For example, the actual lipid cholesterol levels stuck in the plaque is one consideration. But in addition to that is the inflammatory profile around the plaque, because a major component of a growing atheroma, that's the uh, plaque deposit, is the amount of inflammation or immune cells that is drawn to the region to exacerbate the issue. Now, these immune cells take up cholesterol containing particles as well as deal with cholesterol molecules directly, but can get overburdened and die off inside the atheroma. This forms a necrotic core that is highly inflammatory as more immune cells are drawn to that region and the plaque continues to grow. In addition, this necrotic core destabilizes the atheroma, making it more dangerous as pieces can dislodge and lodge themselves in finer blood vessels, causing serious complications like stroke. And as a final piece, the thickness of the cap that cells place on top of the plaque can distinguish the risk as a thinner fibrotic cap is more prone to breaking than a thicker cap. Now, I mention all that because while the researchers are measuring plaque volume, it doesn't necessarily take into account some of the other factors that may be different for you. However, this gives an excellent average idea of our reduced risk. So what did they find? If we pop open the data, we're looking at a table that indicates the amount of cardiovascular event risk reduction, remember, less chance of a heart attack or stroke, per 1% reduction in plaque volume. If the numbers are below 1, that identifies reduced risk. So the far left are the different statistical adjustments. If you're interested in those nuances, you can take a look. But uh, for the most important numbers, are the first one and the last. The first one identifies a statistically significant reduction in risk of about 17% per 1% reversal of atheroma volume, so plaque amount. However, that's an unadjusted correlation, meaning that it's a simple correlation without controlling for any other factors like age or study duration and things of that nature. So if we turn to the final row, the fully adjusted model, we see that the risk is actually a bit further reduced down to about 19% reduction. So the relationship is not only maintained when the researchers account for starting LDL, so low density lipoproteins that contain the cholesterol, as well as account for age, uh, study duration, blood pressure, diabetes, smoking, baseline plaque volume, and the type of patient, as in, did they have cardiovascular event before or did uh, nothing show up already? Now, there's an additional nuance that we should cover before we finish this out. Before we do, this is uh, an analysis that included a lot of studies on statins, and the researchers describe some of the unique non-cholesterol lowering effects of statins, along with the three key features that are linked to the best changes in atheroma volume. I'm covering that in the extended version of this video. If you're interested, you can find it in the Physionic Insiders, along with all of my work, a private podcast, live sessions with me, research reviews, a private engaged community, and more. The link to join is in the description, and I would love to have you aboard. The thing is, with this analysis, they included a bunch of studies with different comparators, meaning studies don't just compare the treatment groups against nothing. Typically, they compare against a control group that is either given a placebo, an inert fake treatment, or in this case, some of the studies, 
actually many of the studies compared against low dose statins and other lipid lowering drugs. The reason that's a bad thing or also a good thing as we'll see is because the delta or the amount of clinical difference between the main treatment group and the control group is going to range from a big difference if the control group is given nothing to a smaller difference if the control group is given a similar treatment just at a lower dose. That muddies the calculations. Ideally, researchers would separate the two comparators to tease out the effect of plaque reversal on cardiovascular event risk if comparing against a pure comparison, so placebo or a dirtier comparison, low-dose therapy. Unfortunately, that also requires a lot more data. But the good news here is that because we have mixed comparators, the real effect may very well be greater then 19% reduce risk per 1% reduction in atheroma volume. In the end, where does that leave us? The study indicates that if you were to test your arterial plaque and then reliably test it again and notice a 1% reduction in your plaque, you would be estimated to have reduced your cardiovascular disease event risk, like heart attack, by around 19%. Then the question is, how do we reduce our arterial plaque? Fortunately, I have multiple reviews of exactly that right here. I'll speak with you over there. <music>